let's talk a little more boxing. Mike Woods does a excellent job covering the sweet science in New York. He's all over the place. He's big time now. He's got a talk box from his good friends at Everlast. He's he's wearing I don't know thousand dollar suits. What's going on, Woods? Ah, <laughs> does it look like a thousand dollar suit? <laughs> I'm never, I'm never better dressed than you. No, I don't that's, know. That, that'll, that'll always be, man. I'll never beat you in that department. And uh, you talk a good game every day on the show. So, you know, I don't beat you there either, man. No, 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 no. Hey, man, congratulations uh, on the new gig. That's pretty awesome. We'll get into that in a couple moments. Uh, uh, let me get your thoughts on Thurman and Porter. The numbers were outstanding. It was a, yep. as I like to see, a TV-friendly fight, very entertaining. Uh, I'm just curious, how did you score that fight? Uh, I scored it. I, I liked the Whitefield card. I liked the 115-113. Mm-hmm. Probably would have had it even a little bit wider for uh, the winner. Here's the thing. I like that the one or two harder punches in every round yep. came from uh, the winner. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I, and I thought overall, you tell me if I'm wrong and if you agree with me, that I thought mobility was the key factor. He got in. He got out. Yeah, a, a lot of people in, in Brooklyn there called him Keith Runtime. They didn't <laughs> like the, the manner in which he did it, but it was effective boxing. Okay, one or two times he maybe uh, you know turned his back a little bit more than you would like. But overall, smart fight. The one or two harder shots in every single round were landed by Keith Thurman. Yeah, listen, I agree. He yeah, kept man. catching him with the, the, the counter left hook, uh, yeah. Porter walking in, saw it in the fifth, yep. saw it in the seventh, saw it late. Had a couple of people come on, they, they called it a draw. They're entitled to that opinion. I didn't score it in that fashion. Yeah. Um, what no. you know, the, 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 the fight to me, Woodsy, going forward, it, it, it's got to be Thurman and Danny Garcia. And, and I'm just wondering. Well, it, it, it's got to be from your lips to God's ears to Al's ears to Danny's ears, people who follow the sport hardcore know day to day that Danny Garcia has been hmm, a kind of a favorite son to Heyman and has been not thrown in exactly with the Lions, okay? Keith Thurman is a lion, young, hungry, hard-hitting lion. One time, I don't know about that, his, his, his power is good but not great. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the one that I want. That's the one that I dare say most fans want. And I think, and I think we've been getting indications that we're moving in that direction, that Heyman is understanding that to have year two of this Heyman boxing thing be a success, we got to have the best fighting the best. We can't be having these guys doing a slow build to supremacy. Right. The time is now. we got to have the A's fighting the A's. I would have come out of the box doing that from the start. Yep. I suspect he would have and many other people would have, but okay. He's the guy who got the $400 million in financing. We didn't, so we'll uh, give him the benefit of the doubt that he knows what he's doing. Hey, listen, I think Garcia is a good fighter. I also think he's an enigma. I thought he got the benefit of fighting in Puerto Rico against Herrera. I think he has been protected totally. to some extent. I know uh, we're right in South Jersey near Philly. I know it rubs a lot of Philly people the wrong way, but my opinion's not yeah. changing. And I've interviewed no. Danny, and I've even asked him about this too. Listen, and it always goes back to, well, Al makes the fights. Well, yeah, that, that might be the case, but guess what? You can sign off on it. So eventually, Absolutely. yeah, eventually he's going to have to... Uh, hopefully take that fight. I'm curious. I know there's a couple, and I saw you were tweeting this out. Yeah. Uh, Broner and, 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 and Manny? Man, I'm just hearing that. I'm hearing that a couple different places. It makes sense to me from a standpoint of... Here's the thing. Oftentimes, people don't understand why certain guys get opportunities. But Woods, Chris Ariola, he loses the fight. Why is he getting another opportunity? Broner loses a couple fights. Why does he get opportunity? If you have a name, that will get you gigs. Even if you haven't been winning recently, it will get you gigs. What else will get you gigs? If your fight on Spike, your mm-hmm. last fight on Spike, did a really good rating, especially as com- compared to the other recent ones. Yeah. And if you can get eyeballs, you're going to get opportunities. So not everyone's going to like that fight. Some people are going to say, this one or that one deserves it more. But Broner's a name. He's interesting. He's a character. You either love him or hate him. He's right there with Floyd as far as probably more people hating him than loving him, right? Uh, so no. I understand. Make the match. Absolutely. That one makes sense. The, the lead-up, the build-up is going to be interesting. 
you're going to have the uh, the placid senator who never talks trash on anyone <laughs> kind of looking at Broner like he's crazy while Broner's going to be talking mad smack. So that's going to be interesting. And then I would like Pacquiao in that fight. I suspect you do. I suspect most people do. And Broner knows and understands that he's the underdog coming in and got to shock the world. So I think he trains hard. Makes it an interesting fight, man. Yeah, let's let's book it. I'm just hearing whispers of it where there's smoke, where there's, there's fire. I think there's smoke and fire here, man. 27 past 1 o'clock hour on a Friday right here on 97.3 ESPN FM. Rich Canyon is here. We'll take you up to uh, 2 o'clock, talking a little boxing with Mike Woods. Great follow on Twitter, Woodsy1069. Of course, host of Talk Box, uh, podcast powered by Everlast. Also check out the site, nyfights.com. All right, wh- talk to me a little bit about uh, Talk Box. I know uh, I'm sure it's uh, yeah. animated, colorful. I know you got some good opinions. You've had a, a boatload of some great guests. Talk a little bit about that venture. Yeah, this is, we've done four pods now. We started out hard out of the box with uh, the queen of boxing, the first lady of boxing, Rosie Perez, was kind enough to come on and join us, fellow Brooklyner. Then we did an Ali homage, and we had people that were been there, done that, George Foreman, Jerry Eisenberg, and Gene Kilroy from the Ali Posse. Mm-hmm. Peter Quillen came in for the next one and let his guard down and talked about, you know, real heavy-duty stuff. And then uh, for the latest one, uh, we had Lou DeBella come on. You know he's always candid. Kathy Dubois, <laughs> hold uh, hold on a second. How, how long is your podcast? Yeah, but, how long? Uh, it's an hour long. How long did yeah. Lou talk? Uh, well, you know what? He was, like, with family and stuff and, like, driving them around and torturing 45 them minutes. While they were in a hot car with them. <laughs> so I think we had him only on for, like, 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But Richie, you're gonna you're gonna I think understanding sort of connect the dots. I yeah. want people that are gonna come in and talk reality. Yeah, absolutely, not, sure. Not just blow smoke. No, you don't want fluff. That's gonna be a hallmark of the show, man. Yeah, you listen. Nobody likes fluff. They like opinions. Yeah. They like a little edge. You don't always have to agree. You can disagree. Right. I brought this up yesterday. I know I got a couple yeah. more minutes with you. We we're talking about Tyson turning yeah, so. fifty, and we were talking right. about all time heavyweights. I don't have Tyson in my top ten heavyweight all time. I just, you know, everything like that comes down to criteria, you know? And it's like, Richie, it's like the Hall of Fame. People are like, well, I don't think that person is skilled enough. And I say, but friend, it's called the Hall of Fame. It's not called the Hall of Skill. So it's what are your criteria? In a certain time, in a certain place, in a one, two, or three, or whatever year span, Mike Tyson was a terroristic whirlwind. Uh, he put fear into your heart of even the stoutest hearted man uh, so at that time and a place uh, he was an all time great uh, did it play out nicely did he kind of fall off the cliff yes he did uh, but I don't know I'm going to put him in my top 20 certainly oh and yeah I, yeah, yeah, do, I think he's gonna, yeah and I think he's going to do real well against other top 10 guys um, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not heavy duty with the what if Richie, because it, it, I know, it's I know, not I know. provable. I know. It's not provable, and I like provable. Listen, I, I yeah. agree 100%. It was, it was more yeah, or less for a little bar talk yesterday, and it got yeah, a lot of people rankled. Love bar and, talk, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but not, not before we go on the air. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Listen, but, I'm Irish. I retired in 1995. I leave that to the, the young, younger folks with different genetics than yeah, I. Listen, before I let you go, I got to ask you this: yeah. Do you? I'm, I'm hooked on it now because you just mentioned the whole Irish thing. Do you watch Ray Donovan? Yeah. No, I tried it once. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, a jerk in that uh, I'll give a show like one try, and if it doesn't immediately speak to me, okay, yeah. uh, I, I just, I don't All get right. into it, and I just didn't get into it. That's not to say it isn't good or whatever, but it just didn't speak to me. All right, um, it's, it's. Uh, I'm telling you, that would be. Uh, I'll get you that. It'll be a Q's Christmas list for you. You, you got to right. watch. Oh, it's, it's also on Showtime on demand too, so you can watch it yourself. So. Yes, no, I, 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 I can appreciate that they gave that the opportunity and that it's on there, and I root for it to do well. And um, maybe I'll give it another shot. I, man. You I, send it, I'll, I'll fire it up. I, I think you should. When, uh, when, when can we uh, tune into the uh, the podcast? What, 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 oh, what day and time? I appreciate yeah. you asking so much. You can find it on your finer purveyors of of uh, podcasts everywhere. You got it on iTunes. You got it nice. on Android. You got it on Google. You got it on YouTube. Just go to my uh, Twitter handle at Woodsy1069. I'll fire you a direct link. We go uh, once every two weeks. I tweet the hell out of it. And uh, we, we're just getting very nice traction, and we appreciate kind people like you 
spreading the word because you're a classy guy with a big audience and, and, and it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you, Rich. Uh, you got it, Woodsy. It's always a pleasure, proud. The best of luck to it. Congratulations. You know we'll talk down the road. I always enjoy it, bud. Thank you, my friend. All right, good you luck. Got it. Have a great summer. Thanks. You got it, too. Mike Woods, uh, really, really good guy.